One of the largest regionals in the U.S. has come to a conclusion, and this is quite a diverse top cut. Make sure you guys smash the crap out of that subscribe button so you guys don't miss out on more Oz content. Typically, Philadelphia regionals are among some of the biggest in the U.S. out here. Betting them is one of the more interesting results that you typically want to look at out here when you're gathering up data for these events, just to kind of be curious of how the community is handling, you know, the current game. And, uh, you know, this format is interesting to me. There's a lot of stuff going on here. Now, obviously, standard two Ubel decks in the top cut, which is very interesting because, you know, Ubel's supposed to be the best deck in the room. But right behind it is Fire King Snake Eye. Yes, we've gone back to the Blast from the Past build out here where players are pulling back up Old Reliable and they're having, you know, a good, consistent result with this, which is not that surprising. But... We also had Tenpai out here, and much like a lot of the story that we saw out of the weekend, Tenpai was the winner of this region. You only need one to squeak on into Top Cut, have the player know what they're doing, and they decimate the competition. Like That has been a very consistent thing across the board, and that is not going to stop anytime soon. Now, some interesting things here. We did have a Memento Duelist step into the arena out here. I am happy to see Memento actually doing things. Um, this build definitely had some interesting little tech choices in it, so we'll talk about that in a second here. We also had White Runic uh, coming out here and doing things, so with the White Forest cards helping you out, you know, the little Zap Shrimper plays, you know, you've heard a lot about this deck, uh, and it's time to see, you know, it getting its spotlight. I Definitely, it's been the more interesting list, that's for sure. And then we also have a Labyrinth Duelist coming out here and kind of smashing the megame. Unfortunately, I don't have the Labyrinth list to showcase, but I would imagine that it would be something heavy trap oriented in terms of, you know, what it's able to do. Huh. Let's pass on over deck list. Starting things off here, we have our amazing, strongest in the world, Tempai Dragon List, only playing the one fodder. You know, I'm going to say this because I say this in a lot of these, but man, I want the second Fadra. <laughs> I like to be bad. Oh, this is cute. Okay, so we're playing a Gamma and a Delta in here with a driver. You know, this is actually kind of enlightening out here. The fact that you have this mini Psyframe package that your deck is able to take advantage of, uh, you know, at least if your opponent does answer your Tempai monster or something, you know, you can activate the Free Singing Kaiman and do the thing. Yeah, this is, I would say that this is probably for when your opponent tries to ask your Singing Kaiman. You get to put an extra 3,500 damage on the field and just roll with it, which is kind of actually really good. Uh, we are playing Mall Charmies in the main. Yeah, why wouldn't you want to be playing these little guys, right? Until we get Fool Wars, this card is just actually kind of the nuts. Uh, and of course, you have only only two Raigakis. Very strange. Now then there's this. Um, we're playing Break Sword down here. Now, I think this is cute. The fact that, you know, you can technically... I guess put two on the field and then Chandra special and then use Chandra as the OTK material and then you have the break sword pop the card that you need out of the way. I uh, definitely wouldn't have considered this my go-to card, especially in this, but you have, I mean, this is like your essentials right here with like the Koi Belt kind of being like the real optional piece. I, I think this does help out. But, you know, having this, not having the SP or the Striker Dragon in here, lets you kind of fill out the spots for some other dumb stuff. And also, I do hate to say this, the Sky Crisis does in fact come up, even though you might not think it. Yeah, that's a lot more time than I thought I'd be putting on a Tempai list, looking at things, but people are trying some interesting little cute things out here. Okay. Oh boy, the old standard, as we're going to call it out here. The fact that you're still doing the Fiendsmith stuff and you bell. Uh, standard is a standard is in this department here. No real strange thing to that. I do see we have the Axis Code Talker and the Unchained Soul of Anguish. The fact that this build is playing Anguish is kind of cute. I mean, they did make room for the extra Phantom of Ubel. There's been a lot of discussion recently with actually playing the third Phantom. Like, this has been coming up, and it's actually kind of amazing to me seeing that people have been like, you need the extra Phantom. It is mandatory. Um, I 
I don't know. I think two does typically get the job done, but I understand why you might need to clutch onto that extra copy to try to get the game ended in your favor. It's just, it's tech choices one-on-one, honestly. All right, ooh, we have Fire King Snake Eyes. No Fiendsmith cards in here needed. This is where you went back in a time capsule. You're like, ring, ring, somebody get the Fire Kings in here. We got to go back to a format long forgotten and get their butts in here. Triple Bonfire, Triple Wanted, uh-huh. We are doing the Cash Dira plays. I mean, hey, you know, Unicorn's a stupid good card. I just love it. What are I even playing? Okay, yeah, we, there's the Fenders, okay. Uh, we are playing One Circle. I think this has been a uh, pretty nice welcome addition back. But then there's Triple Book of Eclipse. We've seen Book of Eclipse storming back into the meta very, very strongly. I think that this card has been one of the bigger things helping out the meta as of late. Just being able to have this level of power um, to control the game. A massive flip down does a lot more. And, I mean, yeah, sure, your opponent can draw in some hand traps and kind of curse you, you know, on the next turn, but it's a fair trade off to get a level of interruption that your opponent cannot play the game. Like, I uh, will definitely take that. Ooh, Memento. You know, we don't have the Goblin Biker support just yet. We get that in Rage of the Abyss, where you get to have the cage. The cage speeds up the entire process for what this deck is able to do. It's hilariously broken to what level of consistency you're going to get here. But then, I see we're playing Unchained cards in here. This was also not on my initial bingo sheet out here of ideas. You know, having the Shavaro with the Abominable Unchained in here, just so you can interact with the Yama, the uh, Soul of Rage, and the Anguish for those key, you know, link up or uh, climb plays. That's very unique, and I think that's something that is definitely worth exploring. You're already topping off with 50, um, which I have a feeling a few people are going to look at that and they're going to go, that's a little bit heavy in terms of cost for the deck. I get that. Now, you're probably going to see this ugly little thing. You're going to be like, what are you doing here, Nightmare Corrupt Ribbly? Well, mosey on over here to this nice gigantic sprite here. It would appear that... We are doing some gigantic sprite plays. Just a fresh link to in the Gaddock makes this so you can Nightmare Corrupt Ribbly lock your opponent. I definitely gets the surprise factor, and that's a W in my opinion. The fact that you can resolve Nightmare Corrupt Ribbly in this deck post side decking is super hilarious. Like, good luck, have fun recovering from that one. Ooh, we have our White Forest runic deck uh, r.i.p to the other name as set is just the best one it appears right now and i don't really blame them for having that mentality because this is your monster lineup this is all you need to dedicate to two rusia triple silva uh this does everything that you need it to now you're gonna see there are some very interesting draw power in this we are playing one chicken game for the filtering two foolish real goods you're also doing the metal foes fusion what is this, Sky Striker? That, you know, we're playing things like this to drop cards. It's it's good. Don't get me wrong. And then, of course, you're also dedicating slots to the Upstart Goblins to turbo through and get that extra little draw power. I'm kind of impressed with this build. I like the fact that we literally called up Sky Striker and we started borrowing their ratios. Of course, we're also main decking the Evenlies. This is something that pretty much every Runic build has been doing as a late, you know. You need cards to go second. Evenlies there to plow through. I mean, the only real negate you gotta worry about is Verutus. And if your opponent is going to Verutus you, well, you have the Freezing Curses to kind of negate that. So. All of your problems are kind of taken care of here. I also see we're maximizing on Hugan. I swear most of these builds were only trying to play two, but I think having the extra copy here is definitely a good thing. Stupid Zapper Shrimp. You're such a good card. And then we also have more Ubel for you. It, it, I'm happy to still see that Ubel is doing well, but man, oh man, to, to look at this deck and to, you know, go, oh man. It is the best deck in the room. It is good. It, it it definitely feels like it. it's got the regional data now, but it is definitely the most tolerable of the big mean decks sitting in the room. <laughs> Thank you, Area Leader, for allowing this deck to have its contribution on the top of the meta chain. Also, side decking the crossouts. It's also hilarious to me what to watch crossouts fall out of the main deck. Like hand traps are good, but they're they don't feel as strong as they once were. Well. That's everything for today. We guys think, please leave a comment down below to make you guys think, and I'll see your beautiful faces back here in the day, guys. Peace. Patrons.
Thank you. Thank you so much for watching. Check out these other videos.